Hi friends, welcome to current affairs discussion. The topic of discussion for today is heat waves. So you must have gone through various newspaper articles that are discussing about the heat waves. Friends. So every year you will come up with various articles on the heat waves. Last year also in the newspapers, you might have come across various articles talking about the heat waves. They are primarily talking about the heat wave situation in the European countries. Now, currently the situation is so hot in India and many articles are coming regarding the heat wave situation in India. So this becomes very important topic and this is not as simple as it is shown in the uh, newspapers. This is a kind of conceptual topic that needs to be understood. And friends, when you do any kind of current affair topic with me on the YouTube, there will be a comprehensive material. The material will be covered in such a way that you don't have to do anything extra for this topic of the heat wave. You will get everything related to the heat wave in this content. So this will be a one-stop source for your current affairs. And at the same time, once you are done with this thing, there is no requirement for you to read the heat wave from the additional sources. Thing is, from the news in the newspapers, the same content is being repeated in multiple articles in multiple formats. Once you are done with this topic, that's it. And the things will remain same and applicable for at least two or three years. Some additional facts will be changing. Okay, so let's start our discussion for the heat wave. Now, what is the heat wave? IMD has given a certain kind of definition and a criteria to declare as a heat wave. A heat wave is a period of abnormally high temperature that is potentially harmful to the humans. It is defined by exceeding temperature. So a temperature which is above the average condition is considered to be a heat wave. Who said this? IMD has said this thing. And what is the criteria they gave? So the average temperature in the plains is different. Average temperature in the hilly regions is different. So they have given different temperature criteria for different, different areas. So you should remember this thing. For the plains, it is 40 degrees. For the hilly regions, it is 30 degrees or more. And uh, usually in the normal cases, it is about the 4.5 degrees centigrade to 6.4 degrees centigrade about the normal value. Okay, then it is considered to be an uh, heat wave. An area is declared under heat wave if these conditions persist at least in two stations for two consecutive days. Okay, this is the important thing that you need to know. Now, what are the areas more prone to the heat waves in India? So this thing, you can show it in the map. This will give extra weightage to your uh, question. Okay, so you show the heat waves in the Northwest Plains, Central India, Eastern India, Northern Peninsula, Southern States and the Western region. Usually, the heat waves are more predominant in the Northern parts of the India, especially during the pre-monsoon shower. But this time, even in the South India, the heat waves are very stronger. And the IMD said, this is going to stay in the months of April, May and the June. So it is very important for us to understand what are the causes of the heat waves. So here, there are certain technical causes as well. Now, let me make you clear. In order to understand the causes of the heat waves, it is important for you to understand jet streams. And also pressure builds. It is very difficult to explain all these things in one video. So at this stage, I want you to give you the assignments to read more about the jet streams and pressure builds. And whatever the content that is relevant for this topic, I'll take I'll take this thing here. Okay. So you need to know in the pressure builds, wherever there is low pressure, this area is suitable for the rainfalls. Why? This is the assignment that you need to do. You need to go back to the your basic concepts of the geography. This video, the limit will not allow me to go into details. High pressure means dry conditions. So generally pressure means weight of the air. Whatever the weight that is expressed by that kind of air molecules that will add the pressure. So when we say the air is rising, there you will have the low pressure condition. When the air is sinking, there you will have the high pressure conditions. And high pressure conditions are always associated with the dry conditions and the higher temperatures. This is the point that you need to remember. Okay, friends, let's move to the discussion. 
So now what are the causes? So you know, heat wave is a situation where temperatures are above the average conditions. Now you can write this thing as a kind of introduction like this. So heat wave is a combination of meteorological, geographical and various climatic factors. Now what are the reasons why there are heat waves in India? Delayed monsoons. So uh, generally with the monsoons, you will get the rainfalls. This will bring the cooling effect. And whenever the monsoons are delayed, those cooling effects will be reduced and there would be more heat conditions prevailing in the India and this will increase the desiccating factors and, though, and thus there is a more situation kind of heat waves in India. And then atmospheric circulation and patterns. Heat wave often occur when there is a high pressure system runs. This is what I have tried to explain. This is the high pressure. Okay, whenever there is a high pressure, so the wind will not be able to rise like this. Okay, so generally a kind of lid kind of situations will be formed. So wind will be sinking in these areas. And in these areas, you will have the high pressure and the heat wave kind of situations. So high pressure is very important thing. Now sometimes these high pressures are also caused by the jet streams. So jet streams play the role in creation of these high pressures. So jet streams play role both in the cyclogenetic conditions and the anticyclone formation. Wherever there is a anticyclone formation, there is a high pressure condition. And wherever there is a cyclone formation, there is a low pressure conditions. So jet streams play the role in creation of the both cyclone conditions and the anticyclone conditions. Cyclone conditions are associated with the low pressure. Anticyclone conditions are associated with the high pressure. And these high pressures are associated with the your heat waves. Because wind can't rise and there is no circulation. So in the high pressure, you can, you can visualize this thing. There is a no kind of circulation of the winds like this. I'll show you here. The circulation of the wind is not happening. The wind is simply descending here. So wind is for as wind descends, always the heat of the wind will rises. And this area, the lower area, it will become hot. So this is one of the prime reason wherever there is a high pressure conditions. And also in this kind of condition, heat domes will be formed. And there will be a kind of heat waves, friends. So very important, crucial factor. If you could not understand this thing, but for writing things in the mains, you need to understand this one point. So heat waves are associated with the high pressure conditions where sinking air will compress and it will heats up, heat up and causes the heat wave conditions. And the second point I have told you, monsoons, if the monsoons get delayed and this will reduce the cooling effect. Geographical conditions, deserts, you know, these deserts and all, they will have the uh, more absorption capacity and less albedo. And as a result, they will also uh, warm up the upper atmosphere. And thus, as a result, more heat wave possibilities can be possible. Same in the kind of urban areas. What do we do in the urban areas? In the urban areas, we construct the cement roads, metal roads, and these areas, uh, okay, uh, sorry, these areas have the higher absorption capacity of the heat. As a result, they absorb more heat and warms up the region. So because of this thing, urban heat island effect is also produced. So in the urban areas, because of the, the, the felling up of the trees, when you do the deforestation and in turn you will also do the construction of this metal roads cement roads which as in turn increases the absorption of the heat as a result urban heat island effect is produced that means overall the urban areas become very hot okay and the geographical factors like deserts their albedo is less and they will absorb the more heat and increases the again uh, heat conditions in that region deforestation if you do the change, land use changes, like if you do the filling up of the trees. So generally, when you have the more trees, there will be shadow and the heat will be reduced and you will have the cooling effect. But when you do the opposite, when you do the deforestation, there would be more possibilities of the heat waves. Global warming, we all know the climate change, the warming up is happening already. Sea surface temperatures has risen by the 1 degree centigrade. And as a result, because of this IPCC, uh, like IPCC said, because of this cl entire climate change and warming effect, again, the heat waves are also increasing. El Nino, what is this? What does this, you, what do you mean by the El Nino? El Nino means simply warm ocean current. This warm ocean current present in the Pacific region is called El Nino. This El Nino is a warm ocean current, which is the warming of your Pacific waters. 
this warming of pacific oceans will in turn raise the temperature so during the el nino years there will be more possibility of heat wave conditions and currently in the 2024 as well as in the 2023 we are experiencing more heat waves because of this el ninos okay friends this is also one of the important point and another important technical point of here you need to understand is in india you have two types of the jet streams one is a subtropical westerly jet stream and another is a tropical easterly jet stream this tropical easterly jet stream is outcome of the heating up of the tibetan region this is more predominant in the monsoon time period and this subtropical westerly jet stream during the winter season it is present on india and it creates the high pressure conditions but during the summer season it shifts northward and it allows creating the low pressure conditions in the summer season. Okay, this is the scenario about the subtropical westerly jet stream. So, we have prime influence of the two jet stream. One is a subtropical westerly jet stream. Two is the tropical easterly jet stream. Tropical easterly jet streams influence is around 10 degrees latitude. And this is, you will find in the areas of the Rajasthan in that areas. In this time period, currently the time period of the pre-monsoon time period. Okay, so... Because of these two jet streams that are present over India, the tropical easterly jet stream around the 10 degrees latitude and the subtropical westerly jet stream around the 30 degrees latitude. Because of these two things, the air that is present in between these latitudes become compressed and form a kind of situation where there is again high pressure conditions are formed and these high pressure conditions will result in the anti-cyclogenetic conditions. In the anti-cyclogenetic conditions, I told you there is a sinking up of the air. Heat domes are formed and these domes are known for the again heat waves. So you need to write this point. So simply you can write role of east yeah, tropical role of jet stream during pre-monsoon season, the upper level Indian easterly jet stream or tropical easterly jet stream around 10 degrees latitude and strong westerly jet stream around 30 degrees latitude together generate an anti-cyclogenetic pattern. For the means, if you write this point, it is enough. For the examiner to understand that you know this is again general point if there is moisture loss in the soil again this will increase the arid conditions and increase the uh, dryness of the region now this is very important point impact of the heat waves this was given in the economic times so uh, what was the situation what is the impact of the heat waves see what is the impact on the economic and business so power demand will increase so more uh, uh, hotness prevailing so you will uh, you will uh, turn on the ref refrigerators, air coolers, uh, ACs, everything, right? So, because of this thing, power demand can peak. And so, you have to burn more and more coal. And because of this arid conditions, your crops have very less sowing season. And because of this low soil moisture, yield will also reduce. Overall, and as a result, inflation can rise because yield has been reduced. As the inflation rises, yield reduces, rural economy will slow down. Food inflation will increase. As a result, RBI will not be able to reduce its monetary policy rates. Because of this thing, there will be higher borrowing costs for the industries as well. So this is the point that you need to know. Now business sector. Sale of air conditioners, refrigerators, this will increase. Food and dairy products will increase. But the people working in the uh, like construction areas and all, they will struggle. Temporary workforce, demand for service technicians and in-store workforce may grow. Okay, this is another point. Hmm. Monetary policy, like say interest rates, they may tend to rise. GDP growth rate, uh, this might be affected because the productivity will reduce. Overall agriculture productivity is reducing and the people who work will reduce. And few sectors will be more affected because they have to work in the uh, high temperatures, agriculture, mining, construction, right? So health effects, heat cramps, heat exhaustion, heat, heat strokes, food born in uh, illness. Why? Because as the temperature rises, the food will be spoiled in a rapid manner. Same is true with the water born. More pathogens can grow. And as a result, food born and water born diseases can form. In the environment, there can be more possibilities of brought. Because of the melting of glaciers, more there can be more flash floods. Because of the higher temperatures, there can be more fires. And you know all, okay, the ground level ozones will be formed in the presence of the sun, sunlight. Higher temperatures will attract more such kind of formation of the air pollution. Global scenario, this was a thing that was taken from the last year. In the North America, record temperatures were formed and wildfires in the US and Canada. In the Europe, in the Italy and Greece, 
severe uh, heat waves were formed and many people also died extreme heat waves in the china iraq south arabia south arabia and then in africa algeria and tunisia experiencing temperatures above 50 degrees centigrade okay so what are the measures that are needed early warning system public awareness cooling centers green infrastructure like uh, de developing green spaces uh, shades uh, trees building regulations so that there is a proper ventilation hydration heat health action okay so these are the things this heat dome we have already discussed so there is a combined effect we need to address uh, the heat in a proper comprehensive manner so proper multi stakeholder participation is required so friends so i have discussed everything from the global perspective as well as from the indian perspective so this is everything about the heat waves if you are if you guys are liking this initiative please comment and if you are really liking it i will continue more such initiatives i will i will, I will frequently come up with more current affair videos on the youtube please follow and also share this these videos with your friends okay friends take care bye bye and thank you